going on everybody they were gonna go over on uh, everything to do with a mine I'm gonna show you how to get there uh, the different types of nodes and then how to smelt it and make gunpowder uh, this video is gonna kinda jump around a bit so you don't have to sit there and watch me uh, actually mine this stuff and uh, smelt everything down because that will take a while so let me just go ahead and show you how to get there. All right, we're at the White House here. I made a separate video. It's like my first video I made was actually how to get there. Um, so if you get on this road, we're gonna go down here and go past this bandit camp. Go ahead and speed up real fast past them. Trying not to damage my truck too much. My bear's back. But we're going to go down this road all the way till almost the end until we start seeing the power lines. And then we're going to take a right. Alright, we're seeing the power lines. I need to take a right right here at these signs. You can either go farther down or you can just go through those trees at any point. I need to just wait to this hit to this red barn. It's relatively easy to get through here and then get on this flat part and then just keep going straight. And then we'll go up a little hill and then we'll be right there at the mine. I usually have, I don't I don't think I've ever found any loot over here, and for the most part the mines uh, uh, most of it's closed off. So here we are at the mine. It's pretty easy to mine. You just got to go up to the nodes and then hit them like seven times. This node right here is iron. Each of the nodes look different. And there was apparently two nodes there and that one was zinc. But this one, the way it looks, it's it's iron. So I just got a bunch of iron. Alright, this is that saltpeter. You need saltpeter and sulfur to make uh, you grind that together with uh, charcoal to make uh, gunpowder. Uh, right now I'm just looking for iron. So I'm gonna collect all the iron I can. If you go down this way and to the left there'll be two more nodes but I don't even bother going out there. Uh, until they open it up and open more no nodes up, it's just not, not worth it for me because you lose stamina going that way. This node right here is, is uh, sulfur. This one's copper. And then copper and zinc to make brass. This is gold right here. There's no, there's no use for gold in the game as of right now. Well, hopefully you'll put it in eventually. But anyway, I, I'd usually go down this whole corridor, get these nodes here. And if it doesn't have what I want, or if I clear it all out, I hit escape, and then I'll save the game, and then as soon as it saves, I'll quit it. And then once I load back in, all the nodes will be back. So I think the only one I haven't actually shown you was what zinc looks like. And zinc just looks like iron, but it's got these white little white splotches in them. Like the copper's got, you know, copper, copper spots and gold's got gold spots. The zinc has white spots. But to make uh, brass you need four zinc and eight uh, copper to make uh, brass. To fill it up it takes eight zinc and uh, uh, see this is zinc. Well. 
it's zinc that zinc so this node right here is both iron and zinc so I'll get both of those from this usually it doesn't it doesn't show it to you or you can't tell until you actually break one open but I guess the light was just right and I could tell uh, if you got like a sulfur or that saltpeter mixed in and you can at least you can see it but uh, that's pretty much all I wanted to go over on this part of the video um, once I've finished mining for the day I'm just gonna stay down here all day just doing this or game one game day and get enough uh, iron to make a sledgehammer but I'll bring y'all back and then go over exactly how to smelt it down what you get for smelting and how to make gunpowder and stuff like that so uh, all right we're back at the White House um, as you can see this is what one day of mining will get you if you uh, save quit continue um, so I'm going to start showing you the different things you got to smelt for to make a Hold on, let me get rid of some one of these iron real quick. Because I'm going to need room to split stuff. To make a brass, you're going to take your zinc, which will give you this one zinc, and you're going to take eight copper and mix it, and you'll end up getting one brass. If you take eight zinc, you need to add 16 copper and that will give you two brass. Gold will give you one for eight. Iron will give you two per stack of eight. But iron's really what I need right now because uh, uh, I want to make the uh, sledgehammer. But I'm going to go ahead and smelt this stuff so you can see how much time it takes. Right now, this still there's no use for gold, so I just smelt it down and I store it, and eventually they'll put some kind of use for it. I collected all this iron mainly because I want to get the, uh, the sledgehammer, which requires tin, so I got well more than I need. Uh, but the only thing I've seen for zinc and uh, copper is to bank components and scrap so if they if you, I guess if you have a problem uh, with the uh, car spawning you can make a uh, scrap and components if you really need them but I don't but the other uh, the saltpeter and the uh, uh, sulfur you need those to make uh, uh, you need to mix that with uh, charcoal to make a uh, gunpowder so I need to make a mortar and pestle let me drink some water real quick let me get the sun 43% And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to go to the uh, the mortar and pestle icon over here. And then I'm going to make the sulfur powder. I'm going to do the same thing with the saltpeter. Now i got to find a box that has my charcoal in it. Then you're going to come down here to the charcoal. And that's how you make gunpowder. I don't know if that brass is done yet. Alright, the brass is done. Everything's done. I'm just going to fill this up. And I'll be able to make my sledgehammer. Alright, once you have your brass, you go over here to this uh, anvil. And then you can make 
Oh, I actually don't need metal as well. I think I have metal somewhere. Yep. So you can make whatever shells you need. Eventually when I get the, the sniper rifle, I'll probably make a lot of this, but uh, right now I need rounds for the M4, so I'm going to go ahead and make two of those, which will give me 32 shell casings. I can only make eight rounds with it right now, but I might as well save it. Alright, so once it's done... I will need to make a repair bench to be able to make those round those bullets. Repair bench, not a repair bench, but a uh, reloading bench. Which I'm going to need two copper for that. Which I'm not going to be able to make it right this second. I need to make copper. Let me turn these lights on real quick. Copper, an hour. We have copper in here. I forgot I needed copper to make that a uh, reloading station. I'm just going to make some quick nails. That'll burn up an hour. Hopefully I can do this without the uh, infecting showing up at night. Just in case. Gonna put this copper here in this one in one in each one, so it, it does it quicker. Make some more nails. I'm just trying to burn time, so I can go back out and get that copper and make that workbench. When you take this out, you can't take it directly and stack it. You gotta put it in its own separate little area. And I just dumped some on the ground. But as you can see, I got enough iron to go ahead and make a sledgehammer as well. All right, we're going to go for the uh, reloading bench. I'm just going to put it on this back wall for now. Saw, hammer, ooh, four gears. How do I have that? Three gears. Saw a hammer. Should give me enough for that. Let's go ahead and make one more gear. Right, that should give us everything we need. And I need to eat some food. I hope you can see it alright. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and sleep so it'll be daylight. Eat some food so I don't... And 
I get infected outside. Then I'm gonna go up here and hide in a little room. Sleep on the ground. Sleep for six hours. Oh, come on, let me sleep. I'm trying to get in. Alright, here's where I take a run and get to this, uh, the, uh, watchtower. If I have a hard time sleeping inside, until I get walls all the way around it, it sometimes it makes it really hard to sleep in that, uh, house. So I'll just sleep up here. I'll have to sleep more. That's not daylight enough. Hold on. Sleep for another two hours. But you can sleep fine up there and they won't bother you. That's one of the reasons I really like the White House. Especially early on. Let's get spent then. Almost. Another day and I'll be done. Alright, to make ammunition for your um, rifle or whatever, you just need this reloading bench. If you want to make your nades, you're going to have to upgrade it. You're going to need 10 scrap, 16 iron six cogs and two of those military components. I'm not worried about that right now. So I want to make some uh, rifle ammo. I have eight gunpowder and 32 uh, shell casings. So right now I can make eight of them. And that's how you make ammunition. It's pretty simple. Once you got access to the mine uh, it's just a matter of time, you know, to actually mine the, the ore and then craft it to uh, to get a bunch of ore. What do I need for a sledgehammer? Wrong one. All right, I need five more wood, which I don't have anymore. Do I have any logs? Nope, I'm going to cut a tree down real quick so I can make some logs. Usually when I need trees, lumber, I'll cut down these double trees. I'll find two trees that are together, that way each hit you're getting it's, it's worth twice as much because you're cutting down two trees at the same time. And then once I get Scott, it's just a matter of just telling him to go out and uh, cut trees down. As soon as I got the bow going, um, that's, I'm going to go rescue Scott and the other ones. So both trees are down. I'm going to make sure I pick up all of these. Uh, and that wasn't much at all. Wasn't hardly any bark in there. If you need bark to make uh, rope, use a knife or the hack the the machete to make uh, uh, to chop off the bark. I don't know if it still is like this, but if if you completely hack out all the uh, bark out of something, you won't be able to uh, cut the tree down anymore, which is really annoying. So let me cut this up into a couple pieces. I can't remember what else I needed for the uh, sledgehammer. Well, that's it I got. But once you get the sledgehammer, it's so easy to... Uh... Oh, this is nice. Back inside. 
it's so easy to uh, get scrap and components because the cars it's like seven wax and you got everything but I think that's it for today um, I hope I helped y'all on uh, what all is good with the mine and uh, how to go about getting materials and making gunpowder to be able to make uh, ammo because for me ammo doesn't seem to to drop that much it's, it's done a lot better since uh, I actually started over again but the last save it was finding bullets was pretty damn hard so thanks for watching I will catch y'all later